Welcome back to Lutz's video series. Today we're going to be talking about Lutz's RJ45 industrial Ethernet connectors. These are a field wireable connector solution that are fully metallic and shielded and are very easy and fast to install in the field. I brought some of Lutz's Ethernet cable with me today. This is a Lutz MotionFlex Cat5e cable and we're going to go through the steps of installing this connector on an Ethernet cable. These connectors are rated to CAT6A speeds, so they can be used with any cable from CAT5E, CAT6, or CAT6A. The first step in attaching our connector is to prepare the cable. I've brought one of Lutz's Ethernet cables with me here. First step is going to be to strip the cable jacket, and you'll see how we prepare the cable to go into the connector. One thing before we start, always make sure that you don't cut too deep into that jacket, or else you'll damage the shield underneath. That's why I always recommend a cutting tool that has an adjustable blade depth. Now that we have our cable prepared, we're ready to install our connector. Uh, now the first step is to install our clamping ring. And you can do this before or after you strip the jacket. But it's two pieces. We have this nut and we have this strain relief. So we want to take these and just slide them all onto the cable. Now that we have that in place, we can deal with the conductors. Lutza field wireable connectors use something called insulation displacement contacts. So inside of this housing, there are actually very small um, blades that will cut through the conductor insulation and make a nice electrical contact with the copper. Uh, that saves you the trouble of having to use any crimping tools to make that termination. It also means that we can pass these conductors all the way through the connector and not worry about how much excess is left. Uh, so these are color-coded connectors, very easy to match the color of the conductor with the color on the connector housing here, and we're just going to do that now. So we just simply match each conductor with the corresponding color on the connector, and you'll see those conductors are going all the way through the connector housing. Do the same thing on the back side. And now all we have to do is slide this part of the connector all the way down against our cable jacket. We want to make sure that connector is nice and tight against the cable to eliminate as much of this unshielded area as we can. Now that we have that nice and tight, it's time to engage those contacts that we talked about. And all you need to do this is a pair of channel locks or something else that applies parallel clamping force. So we want something that's going to put pressure on either side of that connector, and we simply clamp straight down. Make a nice firm connection, and you see that also loosens up this protective plastic housing. Next step is to get rid of all this extra conductor that we have here. So just take a sharp pair of scissors or a pair of snips, and we can cut that right away. Now we're ready to remove that plastic housing and install the connector. That comes right off and can be discarded. And we have this circuit board. That's what's going to actually make the connections within our connector. Now you'll notice I have a little gap here on my insulation displacement contact, so I'm just going to give that one more quick squeeze with parallel pressure, and we're ready to install. 
Now this housing is going to make both the electrical contact for the conductors and terminate the shield at the same time. The connector and the housing are both keyed, so all we have to do is line up those keyed edges and install appropriately. This also means that you can't install that connector incorrectly. It's always going to go in the proper way and make the right contacts internally. So we give that a nice push. Uh, if you have a tool that you can use to push that in, that can be helpful as well. But we want to make sure we get a nice tight connection in there. So now we have our connector. We have our shield here that we need to terminate using this integrated shield clamp. And so we're just going to close up our housing, install our strain relief that we put on the cable earlier, and then tighten down that nut. With that done, we've made a safe, secure, and rugged connection between our connector and our Category 5 Ethernet cable. All that's left to do is remove that protective plastic housing, and there's that RJ45 jack that you're so used to seeing. Thank you for watching our video series on RJ45 connectors. I hope that was helpful in learning how to install a connector to a cable, but remember too that every connector is going to ship with a very helpful installation manual, so you've got that available to you as well. Keep in mind that these connectors are available in both a straight and 90 degree version. These are very helpful when you have a tight enclosure door and you need that cable to make a significant drop so that you're not crushing it every time you close the enclosure. Uh, so these are both available in a variety of color-coded connector inserts. Again, thank you for joining us for this video and please watch some of the other videos on our channel. Thank you very much and enjoy your day.